there, welcome back. In this small tutorial I'm going to um, talk a wee bit more in depth about reading data in from file and writing to file to retrieval Pascal. This is a bit of a follow up from the password program that I put up a couple of days ago and it's just to sort of clarify things a wee bit more when using files. Now, you'll be forgiven to think that when, you, when you're saving data or um, variables or whatever to file through Trouble Pascal that you can simply just open a file, go to XY position in the file, read a word in and then um, close the program. You can't actually do that. What you've got to do is open the file, read absolutely everything in, close the file, have what you've read in stored as variables within your program, make whatever changes or adjustments to that data as you want and then open the file up again for writing, write everything back onto the file and then close the file. And that's what we we're doing in this program here. But I want to explain it a wee bit more in the sense that that's how any program works when um, you're using Windows, not just Turbo Pascal. And I just want to show you this here. If I open this file here in Paint, now I've opened this file first, okay, this is the one on the left, and then I open it again in um, Paint, okay? So what I've got is two incidents. What I've got there is two incident, two incidents of the same file open at the same time. Now, if I was to make changes to any one of these files and save it, it's loaded back into the file. But because there's two instances that have opened, if I save the second file and close it, I'll then completely undo whatever I've just done to the file. So if I was to just like um. Now, but this is the first one that I've opened, this is the, the second version. If I have it open twice, I make loads of changes to the first one, save it and close it. The changes have been made and they're saved. Okay? But unfortunately the file's still open in this file here. So if I just go ahead and close that, what the, what the version will have is the version with the, with the yellow on it. But if I was to save that, I would be then saving over everything that I've just done and closing it. So I haven't actually changed the file um, because I've had two instances that opened and I've saved back over the, the work that I did with the old work. So what, why I'm showing you that is to let you understand that all programs in Windows will open the thing up, keep it open and stored in, in, in the memory of the program and then write it all back once it's saved it, it's not just um, it's not just holding it open or anything and, and sort of updating it as it goes along. Although some programs will every ten seconds save data back to the the program. That's just an automated thing. When, when a program's opened, it's stored in the program until you click save. And it's the whole thing if you type stuff into the keyboard and your computer crashes, you lost it. And it's because it's not been saved into like a a, a hard disk or something or something storable. It's, it's it's just random access memory and it's it's lost. So the, the first bit of this program here, and I'll just sort of talk through this here, is it clears the screen and it assigns this address to anything. I've, only, I've used the, the variable, I've called it anything, just to, to sort of show you that you can call it whatever you want, including the word anything. And it's just a text variable there, okay? Then the next part of it is it resets it. You will have seen this in the first program, the, the password program. This is actually a, a it's a compiler directive and what it's doing is it's telling it to switch off error messages. Then it's um resetting the, the anything and the reason we're switching off the error messages is because if the file doesn't exist in the first instance, it's going to give us an error because we're saying go to this file one dot text and if it's not there, we're we're gonna we're gonna get an error coming up. So what we have to do is turn that off, read it in, and then turn it back on. And turn it back on, we'll be able to read whatever I/O result is there, but it's not going to give us problems in the program. So if the I/O result is anything, if it's not zero, basically, if it's zero, it's okay. If it's not zero, it's found the problem, which is going to be that there's, you know, there's there's no file there. So if it is not zero, there's no file there. Then what we do is we rewrite, which is open the file up to write to it and we write down this message and then we'll end there, we'll close the program. Okay? If there is a if there um, that bit just gets completely skipped, if the 
files already there okay and obviously it'll, it'll close the program because we've opened up up here okay then what we're going to do is open it up again and we're saying reset because when you reset something you're just opening it to read it you can't reset it read a line and then write to it you have to reset it read everything in close it reset reset it again or, or, or rewrite it again and write everything in and close it so in this part here if the file's there it's skipped this it's closed the program again for, for this reset here and then it's opened it up again to read from it okay and then what it's done is written uh, sorry re read line in anything which is just saying you're reading it in from the file and not from the user on the screen and that you're reading in reading the value in to this variable here which is just stored up here then you're writing that variable onto the screen and you're reading the line for the user response and then you're just going to close the file okay so we'll give that a run remember the first time there is there's no file there so it's going to go into this if okay and as far as you can see hello i'm new file and we'll just return that okay and you've seen in the background there that the file was created which is just there okay so close that so this time the file is already there and this um is going to be zero so it will skip this if statement and then what it will do is it will read the line in from the, the text file and then it will write it onto the screen as far as we are concerned it's going to be doing the exact same thing on the screen but it's 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 not done it in the same way the first time what it ha had to do was write a new file completely new file and write in the hello um, I'm your new file the second time it completely skipped that bit because the file already exists and then it says um, it reads the, reads opens the file up for reading, reads it in and then closes the file just before, just um, after writing the stuff to the screen and to prove to you that it isn't, it is actually missing this bit here what we could do is go into the file and just, I am not your new file, okay? so if um, this if statement was happening here it would say, hello I am your new file but it's just to prove to you that it's actually reading it from the file and not just from you know what's sitting there on the sitting there on the screen the program okay so we run that again and I am not your new file it's just to show you that it's actually reading it in from the file but just remember that when you are using um, when you are reading in anything in to the program from a file you have to open it for reading which is your read line or your reset sorry and then you have to close it and then when you're done doing whatever you've got with the variable open it to write which is re which is um, rewrite and then do whatever you have to do to, to store it back into the, the program now um, I've put read line there um, on that bit there I could have just put read probably um, and read line anything that you can do on the screen so like read, read line um, or, or read right line just mark on it before here what your file name is and that that's what it uses to signify that um, you're reading it in from a file and not from the screen if I didn't put that one in there or put anything in there what it would do is prompt for the user to type something in that's how it distinguishes between reading it in from the users on the sort of command line interface to reading it in from the file directly okay I hope that helps explain a wee bit more probably went into that more detail than it has to be but um, it helps explain a wee bit more of what's actually happening and why it's done that way and I hope it helps a bit more files. Thanks for listening.